welcome back to my channel ultimate socialite so it's a new year this is my first official video for 2023 so you know i wish you guys nothing but wealth prosperity and success throughout the new year so this week's video will be talking about lewis hutchinson which is the famous jamaican serial killer from saint Anne's. so without further ado let's get into it so this week's video will be talking about Lewis Hutchinson who was the mad doctor of Edinburgh Castle, Jamaica's first serial killer. Could you imagine that? You know, I don't know if it's like cool or you know kind of creepy because you don't hear like serial killers or a serial killer tied to Jamaica but you know it's part of our history or it's embedded in our history so you know I think that aspect or that part of it is cool and you know Lewis was from Scotland he was a doctor from Scotland and he moved to Jamaica in the 1760s and you know that's when he gained this serial killer status you know a Jamaican serial killer like you know serial killer serial that you eat I'm just kidding like what you're so silly <laughs> not long after Lewis has a what <laughs> Not long after Lewis Hutchinson moved to Jamaica in the 1760s, traveler arriving, travelers arriving in the area began to disappear. He purchased an estate in St. Anne's Parish, far from any populated area. Though this is thought to have stolen the castle he raised there, Hutchinson Castle was built by him on his land and he named it the Edinburgh Castle. But guys, that's suspicious enough. You know, you're gonna move far from populated area, you're gonna move far from people. I mean, I kind of get it, but am I a serial killer? Do I have serial killing tendencies? Hmm, that's crazy, but you know, um, I'm a Taurus and I always say, you know, I want to live far from people. I don't want my house like, you know, with acres and acres of land. So yeah, I kind of get it. So, but I promise you guys, I'm not a serial killer, but that should be like, you know, suspect enough. But I mean, back in those days when, you know, you're hoarding all the land for yourself, there's like a difference, so, yeah. Travelers heading from St. Anne Bay towards Kingston would pass by the castle and either be picked off by Hutchinson with a single shot or he would invite them in for food, refreshments and entertainment before killing them. Hutchinson owned slave people he purchased, brutalized, terrorized and, made, and, and who he may dispose of the bodies. Uh, can you imagine that me as a black person back in those days when you know slavery was a thing when slavery wasn't abolished and you know this white scottish man this white man are gonna invite me for like entertainment or drink so i'm gonna understand that that's why your mother said do not eat i got people yeah, do not eat from people do not drink from people and do not go people yard so because <laughs> that's crazy like me and my way of king son and then me stop no i will i wouldn't <laughs> hutchinson killed for sport all persons were targeted regardless of their income so it's not even slaves alone in my kill like in my kill in fellow people and so like that are rich people um. <laughs> the irony of him being a doctor like you need help or you need to be doctored <laughs> because you're insane this man is crazy <laughs> officials were scared to serve him with a warrant like i'm just anybody who's scared like the man i drink blood like him kill people and throw them in a sinkhole and make vultures you know finish off the bodies like Come on, this man is crazy. Eventually, a young English soldier, John Callendar, bravely sets out to break Hutchinson in. Hutchinson calmly shot him on sight. <laughs> Hutchinson calmly shot him on sight. Can you imagine that? Like, this man is crazy. And if you see the entire police force, Fred forgot for him, like, where was the sheep? Uh, what? The sheep? <laughs> Where was the chief? Like, you know, where was the commissioner? Like, where were those people? So, like, uh, me would do it. Like, good for you. Like, you know, I commend your bravery, but me, cut that. <laughs> Hutchinson then fled off to Olaver where he set off by sea. The Royal Navy, commanded by the Venerable Admiral Rodney, whose status now stands in Spanish Town Square, arrested him when he tried to jump overboard his craft. So the man trial left by sea like <laughs> Edinburgh Castle was searched and belongings of travelers found. The slaves' accounts of multiple murders were dismissed as hearsay. 
obviously them are gonna dismiss the slaves them um, like what i'm saying because you know back in those days it's like oh yeah men are gonna take no word from a slave because like it's slaves against a white man you know in those time obviously white people the slave owners they're the ones who you know run things or you know were in control so who would believe the slaves uh, but i mean the proof is in the pudding or in this case in the sinkholes <laughs> Hutchinson had not carried out his evil acts alone and several other plantation owners uh, condemned him to death. Luch, Lewis Hutchinson tried, was tried, found guilty and condemned to death by hanging in Spanish Town Square in 1773. Wow, that is crazy. But it wasn't him alone. Like, he had help from his uh, peers. Uh, the same peers of him are killed because I remember they said, you know, he killed but he did a, it doesn't matter the income like he could have been low class middle class high class but the man i kill her, the man doing for sports you know what i'm saying doing for sports so why not but it i don't know the name of that movie but oh my gosh but it's basically you know it's, it's like um squid games i would not that movie i was thinking about like that's a series but you know it's like squid games where those rich people you know bet on other people so they can find kill of themselves you know just for their own entertainment and for their sport so like that's just crazy for him and other um plantation owners uh, you know to do something like that but wow but yeah that's the video i have for you guys today remember to like share comment and subscribe but yeah this was definitely a good one and you know jamaica's first recorded serial killer i don't know if there was one before this but this is the first recorded serial killer in jamaica and it's not even from jamaica but you know as i said i mean for me this is kind of like cool because you know it's tied to our history because you don't normally hear like oh a serial killer in jamaica serial killers in jamaica although i think we have some of those now because the type of killings that that's been happening is like crazy Easy. but yeah um you know hope you guys enjoy the rest of your morning new night whenever you're watching this and yeah without further ado what <laughs> but yeah 